Oi oi. Cloudy, but warm. And no threat of imminent rain for at least two hours. So, after yesterday's mess up with the trains, let's try and do another viewer's request, eh? Let's tell you where I'm going. So, when I do my up and over the top walk in the past, which involves going down past Holcombe, I've had a number of people say, hey, look, why don't you walk up through Holcombe? Take the back road in. Got cars everywhere, innit? Hang on, oh, that's a bit better. Anyway, people say, take the back road in. Go down, go up through the village. So today I will. Right, up at the Rowdens now, which is like the top of Mules Park. So we cut through the top of the Mules Park, if only to give a little bit of variety to my walk over to Holden. Holcomb, sorry. Ah, get away from this noisy road. This is the road that you take to get to the uh, orchard, by the way. Here we go, here's the orchard this morning. Looking fine. Not going to go in it, like I say, want to get over to Holcomb. Got one or two, one or two, then and now is burning a hole in my back pocket. Following the uh, sort of mown path, rather than trying to strep through the um, undergrowth, but I want to get up there, because that's the top entrance. There we go, top of the park. Lovely. On the uh, rough track now heading up above Mules Park to join up with Dawlish Road. So I say it would have been quicker to have carried on up Dawlish Road, but um, oh noisy traffic. So let's go this way, hear a bit of bird song, a bit more fresh air, no fumes. Clouds are getting darker. I do hope I don't have to cut this short. Let's crack on. Last time I was up here, I said we'd come back and see what was being done in this field. Uh, just a big digger. Lots of pods at the moment. This is something behind there being done that I can't see. But that's the update on this little field. And the little honesty stall for homegrown plants and flowers is still going. And finally, we come to the end of our uphill walk to emerge onto Dawlish Road to head down to the back road into Holcombe. Oh yes. Oh cool cross where my auntie used to live. And there's a noisy road. And now, for the first time ever on this channel, we will diverge away from the main road to take the back road down into the back side of Holcombe and walk up through the centre of what was the main thoroughfare of the village. Minidab, the thatch roof, actually for sale at the moment. I'm not going to quote a price, I can't remember exactly, but I do remember thinking it was a lot less than I thought it would be. For a place like that with a thatch roof and the amount of bedrooms in that, and the fact it's been a restaurant, it's been a BB, it's been all sorts of things. Surprisingly cheap for what it was, what it is, compared to some houses I see. So check out the Dart and Partners website if that's your cup of tea and you fancy buying a place by Vizzy Road down here near Tynmouth. And almost immediately we begin to start heading away from the hustle and bustle of main buildings and out into, not the sticks, but some quieter lanes. And here we go. Got quite a long walk down a road like this now, which isn't most photogenic for you lot watching. So what I'm going to do is to take the chance to flash up a few bits of information about Holcombe on the screen while I walk.
very low. Uh, just a bit of foreshadowing. Ahead in the distance there, there's like a right in the centre of the screen. I won't say caravan parks, it's not. It's more like um semi semi-structured homes. But it was a caravan park, and we're gonna go back to that later when we walk past the entrance. But that's what it looks like now when we walk past the entrance we won't be able to see it. And that speed limit sign indicates we're at the back end of Holcomb Village. Lovely. Which brings me on to my first then and now of the day and um, just so you know I won't be showing the photos like I usually do twice because I'll be doing a quick succession of them as I walk up that hill so they'll only be shown once so I'll be prepared to pause anyway here's the first then and now 1923 I've got this dated at just here And the other end of that lane up there is virtually uh, directly opposite where I go down the smugglers lane when I walk down the other way. Now exact date unknown on this one, but could that be the same rock over there behind those flowers by that door as in this picture? Well, you'll notice it says Hillview on that white building, but that's the old post office. Got quite a few shots of that. Try and line some up for you. Here we go, just here at what was the old post office, 1935. And if you look carefully, you can just about make out where the um, door used to be. Slightly different patching on the render. Here's another photo of the door from taken from further up. Yep, 1929. And there's still more to come. There we are. The old post office indeed. Looking up the road now. 1935 this one. The house on the left, there's on the right, sorry, very much the same. Crazy. Now, looking back down the road again, pop back to 1935, shall we? There you go. Crazy. And finally, I want to get up here to get my last shot looking down at the old entrance to the farm. And finally, looking back down that main road we've just walked up, you'll notice over there on the right is Manor Farm now. It used to be called Court Farm. And here's a picture undated, but I put it, well, possibly later than the 30s, but before the 50s. Here you go. So that's that view many years ago, taken from right outside the castle inn, which I'll show you in a sec. Just opposite the Holcomb Village Hall, where my grandson had a party once, and I remember coming over here, is the castle inn. 
that's the pub for Holcombe and I can remember coming here many years ago when I was a lot younger but I haven't been in here in there for oh 30 odd years 35 years never mind so what we're going to do now is we're going to continue along this top road and uh so say just walk along here and as we continue down the road as you can see widens out and the houses get what should we say considerably more modern and we're into the newer part or the newer the newer than the old part part of Holcombe but it's still fully established Holcombe don't get me wrong it's not like it turned up a couple of days ago or anything over there in the distance to zoom in in those fields there that's where they were doing the uh, rockfall tunnel preparations that's all the stuff of the people going down over the cliffs and doing the building pretty large houses here as well I mean that's pretty big by anyone's standards and those two cars should give you an idea of the sort of people that live here in Holcombe lovely and now we're heading down to join the old Dawlish Road where we'll turn right and uh, go down Smugglers Lane so we go out on the main road now down there is where the uh, Smugglers Inn is up on the other side but we're going to be heading down here towards the old smugglers lane to go down past the salty dog oh yes now here we are remember I said about a caravan park earlier well this is it here it's called Bronze Rock now Bronze Rock View Park you enter in up there but it used to be a proper traditional caravan park back in the day. It was called the Smugglers Caravan Park. Here's a photo of it in 1957. So I say I can't really get up there to film and if I could it wouldn't be the same anyway but it's now lightweight retirement homes as opposed to a holiday caravan site. This is the bottom entry to the caravan park we were talking about and I believe this would have been the main entry back in the day because the smugglers lane is just over there that makes sense why it would be called the smugglers caravan park well, that was good I managed to get across the road with relatively little difficulty luck's on my side today and the weather's still held off Let's hope it goes all the way. Smugglers Lane! Woohoo! Soon be seeing trains! Well, I hope you enjoyed that little wander through Holcombe. Um, I hope I didn't do too many then and now, but what I did all the ones I had, because I don't know next time I'm going to be back then necessarily. Um, I'd like it in an ideal world to say, I'll go out there in the winter when it's really different. But then again, it'd probably be too slippy and cold for me. But we'll see. But that was Holcombe for the time being anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Tide's up pretty high today. But I'm gonna treat myself to a hot chocolate. It's a bit on the nippy side now. At the salty dog. Well, the weather's certainly on the change now. Even got wet nearly coming up around there. But I did get my hot chocolate at the Salty Dog Cafe which is great and I do believe if we can be patient for just a second we've got a train train Whee! and I'm getting sprayed by the waves as I film this let's crack on and just perfect it starts to rain lovely well, I made it to spray point got absolutely saturated that's why I didn't film on the way back it was coming down like no tomorrow I'm completely soaked there is a special train due along apparently 
so I'll hang around and try and get that for you and then I'm gonna head up home. Well, I don't think this is the special by any means but it'd be rude not to take a shot of it while I'm stood here anyway. In the distance there, we see some steam. I'll keep filming and cut this bit out, then I'll make sure I've got it coming around the corner. Well, that's certainly a head of steam. Lovely. And with that, I am literally heading up home. Um, I'm utterly soaked, really am. I was, while well, I was waiting for that train to come by, it stopped raining, so I was physically wringing out my shirt and it was dripping down onto the seawall. So, um, yeah, I won't be out for much longer now. Well, there we are. It's the end of the sea wall. Seagull. Don't think we're going to see any more trains now. Like I say, though, going to get home. Oh, look at that. No, I didn't set that up, honestly. I really didn't. Whee! Well, hopefully that was an interesting video done a bit of Holcomb history had a hot dog a hot dog a hot chock at the salty dog they don't do hot dogs that's a shame never mind and we seen a steam train whoa, whoa. what more could we want I don't know lovely timber lovely even if it is raining and I'm soaked Ugh. and with that that's really it love you and leave you thanks for watching hope you had a good one shame we got wet but that's it. Anyway, see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Take care. Bye.